Hi guys, welcome to part 3 of the home distillation series. In this video I'll show you how you turn your neutral spirits into really nice clean crisp neutral spirits by using carbon to filter it and once you filter it how you can then flavor it into any other flavor. This series has a couple of other videos. The first one is how you make your sugar yeast and water you wash. The second video is how you run that wash through a still and this being the third video is all about the end stage. So if you want to check out those videos, the links are in the description. Okay, now with this alcohol here, this is neutral spirit. It is straight from the still. It has been watered down to 40% alcohol, and that is important if you want to run it through carbon filters, because activated carbon works most efficiently if the alcohol content is less than 50%. Any higher than 50%, and you run the risk of the alcohol just running straight through the carbon and not effectively filtering. So that's why it's pretty important to dilute it. Plus, most alcohols that you buy are around 40% spirits anyway, so it works perfect. I showed how to measure this in the last video, but I'll just do it a bit more in detail. So this is a alcometer. It measures the density of alcohol in your um, spirits, so that way you can determine from a scale of 0 to 100 its alcohol content. So we're aiming for around 40%, so I'm just going to put it in this measuring cylinder. Alright, so that just goes in there, and we can measure the density, so that's about 40%. Now it's important to note the accuracy of this is very much dependent on the ambient temperature, and you can go online and there's various scales on there that tell you, um, give or take, how much you've got to adjust for your climate. So when I bought my Air Still, I bought the Air Still Companion Pack with it, which comes with these tubs, as well as you know a pack of these 10 filter cartridges. Um, it's pretty handy to have all of that because then it gives you something to collect it in, but it, you can use other containers. So one advantage of this pack is this thing here, which you can put one of these little filters on. So this is what one of the filters looks like, and it's just a compressed activated carbon block. Now this is good to um, do all of your alcohol from one um, run through on your air still. So, you know, like a 1.2 litres of alcohol. Once you've strained 1.2 litres of alcohol through these, they pretty much have become saturated with bad odours and are not reusable again. So that carbon just sits on the bottom here. And before you put it in, you've got to let this sit in a cup of hot water for about 10 minutes or more. The longer you leave it, the better. And that will just get all of the air bubbles out of it and activate the carbon for you. So it does a much better effective job at filtering. So I'll just show you how this works. So that pops in there, and then you get your alcohol and you pour that in. Comes with a handy lid as well, you can put that on. And what happens now is it just slowly drips through, and as it drips through it, it goes through the activated carbon and cleans up your spirit. It'll probably take you about six hours or more for that 1.2 litres to go through this filter, but after that it's ready to drink. These are a pretty handy way to filter your neutral spirits, but they are pretty expensive and they do add up. Um, another way you can filter it is by using this stuff here. So this is granulated activated carbon, and you can just buy it in a couple of kilo lots or whatever. And it's just granules of carbon. Now this is food grade and it's made from coconuts, as you can see here. Now it's pretty important you get food grade activated carbon because if you're just getting stuff from a pet store, it may not be food grade. Although if it's not going to kill your fish, it's probably good quality anyway, but I would trust food grade a bit better because you know it's not being treated with additional chemicals that can be harmful to you. So there's a couple of ways in which you can use this activator carbon. The most easiest way is to put a couple of spoonfuls in with your neutral spirits. You do need to wash this activated carbon first before you use it it's because it has a lot of black carbon dust in there. And to wash it you just need to put it in a container with some hot water, swirl it around and slowly pour that hot water off and just keep repeating until it comes through clear. So the easiest way to, to do this is just put a couple of spoonfuls in the bottom of a bottle like I've done here and what we're going to do is wash this because it's got a lot of black carbon dust in it. So the way I do it is I just run the hot water tap into here and then we'll clean this out. 
So you can see that the carbon is uh, fizzing away as it's soaking up the water and activating itself, especially with that hot water. And there's also, uh, it's the water itself in there looks pretty cloudy. So we'll just let this sit for a little bit and then we'll pour off the water. You might lose some of the carbon in this if you don't let it all sink. Alright, so now we've got some activated carbon that's just sitting in there. You could do that process again and repeat it a few times if you didn't want all of that carbon dust in it. And essentially what you do now is fill up the bottle with your neutral spirits and just leave it to sit. The longer the better. You probably, with this method, you probably have to let it sit for at least a month, maybe two months before drinking it. And before you drink it, you need to just let it set for a bit and pour off the vodka into another container so you don't actually consume the activated carbon. Now that's alright, it's a nice easy lazy way to do it but it's not the most effective in that it takes a while to do. So I'll show you some other methods that you can use. Another way you can use that activated carbon is in like a basic funnel setup like this. This isn't the most efficient way to do it because you do lose a little bit of the neutral spirits to evaporation and some gets soaked up with the activated carbon but essentially what you do is you do the same method with the carbon to activate it by washing it in water and I've just got a stack of funnels and it will drip from that funnel down into this funnel and then down into that one and finally come out the bottom as a nice clean spirit. This kind of defeats the purpose but I speed up the process a bit by just getting some of that spirit into there. So that's one way you can do it and it's not too bad. You might have to run it through a few times but it's the same process but it's, it's pretty simple and you can do bigger batches in that there's a lot more carbon here so unlike this method that just does 1.2 litres this can do maybe 10 litres or more with that amount of carbon that's in there alright and the last way that you can do it is this I've literally just bought this I haven't even opened it or used it or anything but it's called the ultimate spirit filter so it is a big cylinder with some pipes in it. Essentially you put a cup of that activated granulated carbon in there. You flush it through by connecting the hose to your tap until it comes out clear. And then once you're good to go, you then get a container that's got a tap on it. Just like this sort of setup has. And you run the cable through there, you turn the tap on, it goes through. It goes through the bottom and goes up through all of your carbon. And then clean spirits comes out of the top into a container. So we'll set that up. So this ultimate spirit filter takes one cup of activated carbon. So you've got to put the activated carbon in at first and then you can flush it out with water. So one cup is about 250 mils. So we'll put that in here. I've got the sponge in there. <laughs> what about activated carbon everywhere? So it comes with this cool little uh, quick release clip thing up here where you just stick your pipe in and it's clipped in and then to get it out you've got to push it, the little clippy thing back in and then it comes out. So like that, that's locked in now and then to unlock it you push that back in and your pipe comes out. That is amazing. So it comes with this section here which has this hose adapter, you plug that into your hose and then you can flush this through with water and then dump the water out of this. So I'm just going to go outside and do that now. Done now and that by far would have to be the easiest way I have ever flushed through activated carbon and got it to come clear. Because you just connect it to your hose, turn the tap on, the water goes from the top down the bottom, goes through your carbon and back flushes down the bottom there out of this pipe. Alright, so I've set up this carbon filter, I've done a bit of a bodgy job, but it's just to show you guys and I'll probably come up with a more permanent solution later on. So, this thick tube here is what the neutral spirits goes down and into your filter. So you, you can connect it to um, a tub like one of my fermenters, as long as it's got this type of tap. Um, they come in black or white, and it's got that um, perfect diameter for the tube to fit in. But I've just used this funnel from my previous setup, which I scrapped because I don't need that other 
set up with the three funnels. So it, if, if it's good on the larger funnel, and I just put my neutral spirits in there and it slowly will come down the pipe and in through the bottom of the filter. This is at 40% alcohol, mind you. So when it hits this activated carbon, it will filter it nicely. And it will come up through here and eventually force its way up and out of the top. And through this hose here, which has a flow control um, tap on there, and then it flows from there into my collection jar, which is pretty awesome. It's a big four and a half litre tub. So you can see how slow it's coming through there. And if you tweak the tap, you can speed it up or slow it down. So this is too fast, but I'm just showing you. So you can pour just straight through or you can really slow it down. When you're adjusting this, you want to aim for about three or four drops every second. And that will give it all enough time to uh, filter effectively through the carbon. So this filter is pretty awesome. I, I really like it and it's producing really good results. Now it's actually designed so it will force the alcohol up. So when you have actually got to your last part of alcohol that you can run through, you, you're not going to have any more alcohol to force it up. So you can actually turn this upside down and it will drain upside down through your pipe. So yeah, that's pretty ultimate. If you're wondering where I got this ultimate filter as well as the activated carbon, I got them online at a place called Clarence Water Filters. Now, they didn't pay me for this or anything, I just really like their products. And the prices I reckon are pretty good value for money. Like this cost me 50 bucks, and I, at first I was like, oh maybe that's a bit steep. But comparing it to other filters, this is relatively cheap. And if you were to build this yourself, like I've done in the past and built something similar, you're probably going to send 20 or 30 bucks and then you've got to build it together and everything like that. But this has actually got some really good quality fittings and the hoses. Right, so that's the basics of filtering your spirits. You really have to filter your spirits if you're using a pot still like this. But there are stills out there that produce a better quality um, neutral spirit, especially the ones that have the big stack on the top. Uh, they're called reflux stills. But a pot still like this is relatively affordable and for the size of it, it works great for me because I live in a place where I don't have much storage, hence why I've got junk everywhere. Alright, so that's it for this part of the video. Um, I've, I've made this video in two parts, so it doesn't go for too long. So the next part is um, adding your flavourings. So go and check out that video, I'll put the link in the description and on the screen. Alright guys, keep safe out there brewing and I'll see you next time.